Hey, welcome to my t tutorial on how to download Cam Studio. First of all, you want to open up your web browsers and type in www.google.com and search. And um, now you're at Google. And then you want to um, go down to the um, text box and type in um, Cam Studio. Cam Studio and search it. And then you want to click on this very first link right here at the top. Let's click on that. Then it should bring you to camstudio.org. And then all you want to do, you should see a screen like this Cam Studio Open Source, free streaming software. You don't want to click on that, you want to scroll down to where it says useful links right here. And it's red. And then it says Cam Studio or the Lossless Codec. Um, I prefer um, Cam Studio, just this one right here. Just click on it. And then your download um, thing should appear. And you just push save and save it to your desktop or whatever you want to save it to. And then um, I already have it, so I'm not going to install it again. But you can just exit out of that when you got that done. And then um, when you install it, just install it and everything and then open it and you should get something like this cam studio and here's all of your um, main options right here or you can go to file and they're all right there record stop pause and exit exit just means to exit out of like that yeah and region um, region like you can select your own region like make it how big you want or you can do a fixed region so like you make your own region at the first recording and then the next one it'll be the same size or you can do full screen which is just your full screen and video options if you go to video options um compressor i usually leave mine at um microsoft video one because i don't want to download all the other stuff and i have my quality at a hundred set keyframes at every two hundred frames Capture frames every five milliseconds. Playback rate two hundred frames per second. And I usually don't have this check marked. So if yours is check marked, just uncheck mark it because then all this goes away and you don't really want that. So uncheck mark that and press OK. And then you have your cursor options. You can hide your cursor so there isn't a cursor at all. Or you can show the cursor and use an actual cursor like that one, like mine or you can use a custom cursor and a custom cursor is like books and clips and card files see mail if you click on mail it'll be like a little mail envelope but I usually just use an actual cursor and then you can highlight the cursor if you click on highlight cursor you can make it a rectangle you can make it a circle you can make it bigger or smaller smaller it could be an ellipse like an eye see and yeah I usually don't do that because I really don't want to and then don't record audio means no sound at all like if you are playing music you wouldn't hear anything or if you're recording on a microphone like I am you wouldn't hear anything and then record audio from microphone um, I ain't doing that right now because it ain't in the microphone slot. Mine is in the audio speakers because the microphone is coming out of the speakers. And then um, if you go here, um, you can choose your options for them. And I don't do that. I just leave it where it is. And then this is enable auto pan. And that means when you move your mouse around, the mouse will follow it, the screen. And if you enable it, um, it's supposed to not move, but mine is screwed up. So, and then if I enable it, yeah, mine is screwed up. Sorry about that. And then you can choose your auto pan speed, like 10. Oh, um, yeah, you can change it. I usually leave mine at 100. Push OK. And all of this stuff down here, you can choose yourself because that's pretty much personal stuff right there and then tools you can do screen annota annotations like on YouTube um and video annotations 
um, you, compact view, buttons view, you don't need to worry about those though. And that's about it for my tutorial on how to use Cam Studio. Bye.